So this question will carry on. So here I've got, um, they say that annexure A, which is this that I've added over here. Now, they're the first question I've got down here. Then there's going to be a second question over there. And a third question. Okay, so let's start. It says that Annexure A shows an income and expenditure statement for Bazingo Private School. Uh, the statement shows a comparison of budgeted and actual values for the 2020 year. So it says, okay, so let's just read that again. Calculate the total actual income for the school in 2020. Oh, okay, so, so I guess it's total, the actual... Uh, income. So they're wanting us to find this value over here. Well, I mean, the way that it works is if you look carefully, um, if you, let, let's just look at this as an example. If you have a total income of 650,500 and then your expenses are 561,000, then if you just um, subtract these two from each other, or if you say this one minus that one, because this one is a expense, it's money going out, then that should give us this number, which is your total profit that the school makes for that particular year. Okay, so you can just go type that on the calculator if you want to just to go check it. Um, it also does the same over here. Because this the, this column up here, this row, that's like the summary of everything. So you could ignore all of this. If you just want to know how the school did, you could just say, okay, listen, I don't care about what was the salary, what was the school fee, what was the tuck shop. I just want to know how much money came into the school. So that would be uh, that amount over there. And how much was the expenses? That amount over there. Okay, the school made a profit in 2019. If you then wanted to go see exactly what they spent their money on, you could go look at salaries, admin, feeding, tuck shop, school fees. Then you could go look at all of the stuff that is underneath okay so this is just a summary of how the school did so it says calculate the total actual income for the school in 2020 so we're just going to look at these values okay so unfortunately in 2020 the school actually made a loss quite a big loss it's probably COVID, um because it is 2020 you know um so the school made a huge loss so what we can do is we can set up some type of mathematical equation we can say that this number which we don't know what it is so we can say x minus, remember you always minus your expenses. For example, I said here, this number minus this number. So we're just gonna say X because we don't know what this number is. And we're gonna take away this 487,000, uh, 776,50. And then we're gonna make that equal to what it's supposed to be equal to, which is a negative number. Shame guys, 026. 50. Okay, so you make it equal to a negative number like that. Okay, so the school had a tough 2020. So what you got to do now is you just got to use mathematics to try get this x by itself. So remember, you got to take this now, this part of here, and you got to somehow take it to the other side. So I'm not sure how you like to do that. But what whichever way you do do it, you should eventually uh, get that on the right hand side, you're going to have this. And then it should become a plus, okay? This number should become a plus, and it should become 487, um, 776,50. So that is what you should end up with. So you could go type in the calculator then, and your X or your answer should become 374,750. That is the answer. So that is that is the total income that the school made um, that year, you see how it's a lot less than all of the other years, it's probably because of lower salaries, I'm guessing. Um, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna get too much into the details now, but it's probably from less school fees because students couldn't attend. I'm just guessing, but check here, school fees, um, in 2019, 500,000, in 2020, 300,000. So that makes a huge difference. That's actually the main reason why they are not profitable. Because if you were to add on another like 200,000 Rand, then their profit would actually be pretty good compared to the previous years. It would be fairly similar actually. This next question says that the value of the actual net income, uh, sorry, the value of the actual net income in 2020 is indicated as negative. Yes, it is. What does a negative value mean? It means that um, they actually made a loss. So we can just say it means 
the school had a loss. Identify one item within the income. Wait, identify one item within the income. Okay, so income, um, which could have been the main cause for the school to have a negative value. Okay, so if you go to the income and you look at this one, um, compared to what they wanted or what they budgeted for, um, you can see that, okay, there was less income from the tuck shop. Um, there was less income from the national government. But the big one is, look at the salary, I mean, the, the school fees. So here it was 500,000 Rand that they wanted to have in school fees, but they only managed to get 300,000 Rand. So that's quite a big one. Um, so that would be the main cause. You could say, yeah, it's the tuck shop, but come on guys, that's only like 4,000 Rand that they lost. So I think the big one that they lost out on is the school fees, okay? So we could say school fees.